My baby is going to explain to you the BFD. Yes. Bundesfreiwilliges. Sorry. <laughs> Der Bundesfreiwilligendienst. I go by the name of Cindy Petronella and I have my baby here. Hello, hello, hello. 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 <laughs> so if you're seeing us or me for the first time, welcome to our spaceship and do subscribe. And those returning, mwah, it's mega love. Mega love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are doing a continuation with our video that we did last week. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was amazing. The reaction was so good and... Yeah, you were a good sport to be with. <laughs> yeah, the last video was about like finding jobs in Germany. Mm -hmm. So we explained a bit about um, job seeker visa, high demand job in, jobs in Germany. And uh, this time we want to go on the other side. We want to talk more about um, voluntary service in Germany and au pair. So this is like a bit for a bit more young age. And if you are not really established in a job or with mm -hmm. university mm -hmm. to get an entry in this market, because this will also help you when you come here for those services to learn the language, to get to know the country, and maybe then after you think uh, you can do something else here. Mm -hmm. So that's what we think. Yeah. So today. So, yeah. So this, these programs are quite popular. So the first program is. FSJ, <laughs> the Freiwilliges Soziales Jahr. It's a voluntary year in Germany where you can do uh, certain things, which I will explain you in a second. And mm -hmm. the other one is. BFD, that's Bundesfreiwilligendienst. Good German. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <Oof. laughs> so that's Federal Voluntary Service in Germany. And we're going to tell you more about this. As we said before, there's so many ways to come mm -hmm. here. And still, what did we see today? This other program on TV about jobs in Germany. Yeah, that was not really a program, but mm. it's crazy even for like hand workers, like people who repair your kitchen, the bathroom, construction, construction. Workers. even only in this branch, 500,000 people missing at this moment. That's what I said in the other video also. If you need somebody to repair something in your house, mm -hmm. maybe they come in two months. You don't even get an appointment because we don't have Not enough people. people. It's really so like this. Mm -hmm. We need foreigners, high skilled workers, mm -hmm. but today it's not about this. Today we speak about voluntary work mm -hmm. and how to get here with this visa and yeah, let's get into mm -hmm. it. You can tell us more a little about, about yeah. it. Uh -huh. So the Freiwilliges Soziales Jahr, this voluntary service, what is it actually about? It's mm -hmm. especially for branches like um, zoo, museum, um, elderly care. people, childcare, all those things where you do voluntary service, where you help people and usually you don't officially get paid for sure. You get a bit hand pocket, pocket and money. usually mm -hmm. also if you go to like, um, um, how you say, big companies um, or agencies, they mm. provide rooms for you. Maybe you have to sleep with somebody ah. uh, together in a room also, like in a WG, it's called in Germany. Yeah, hmm? okay, that's really important. So mm -hmm. we interrupt, but with the rooms, wherever you are, when you apply, mm -hmm. just be careful that you apply with the, this voluntary service where they provide accommodation. Yeah, otherwise it's because you don't really get a normal salary paid. You, you have to take a lot of money from home here because German, in Germany it's also not, not, not cheap to live. It's expensive. And for sure you need some, some money then to survive. And if they provide a room for you, that's quite cool. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and then you can just uh, try to find online um, those agencies uh, or just a company who offers this mm -hmm. and you can try to apply. So what's important for you? What do you have to bring? You have to be like between 18 and 26 years. That's mm -hmm. like a limit. The other one, which um, my baby will explain you later, <laughs> is without age, um, yes. age limit. But this one, 18 to 26 years old. Mm -hmm. And you also have to have like basic knowledge of German language. Um, it's called like A1 to A2. You have to have a little bit. It depends a little bit on where you want to go. If you mm. take care of small children who don't speak uh, German, it's probably not so necessary. Mm. But um, so you have to bring also a little bit. And for sure, you have to bring the will of living here, of integrating, of loving the country, of getting to know the country better. Mm. And also, I tell you, you can do this for like half a year one year up to 18 months and when you whatever however you come here also with your german knowledge if you stay here like for one year or mm -hmm. longer 
and you do a voluntary service where yes, you don't earn much, but also you are young and you are other people do an exchange here in a different country, those things. So mm. you can come here and but after you speak German fluently, I promise you. And with this new doors open and maybe then uh, you can take one of those other free jobs here in Germany. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nice, isn't it? For an it? example, as a nurse, if mm -hmm. you have this, this is like you can do an Ausbildung, apprenticeship with nursing. Mm -hmm. It depends what you want, depends on what you want, or with child care to be professional mm -hmm. in a different level. There's so many possibilities, or you can branch out to something else, mm -hmm. or university here. You can, if you're yeah. so good, mm -hmm. in Germany, they need people who know the language, quite skillful mm -hmm. and After this, you get a certification, mm -hmm. a recognition that you completed this mm -hmm. program. And that's amazing. I mm -hmm. mean, you are young, you're full of life, you have no kids, you're not married. Why yeah. not? If this fits to you, if this is just exactly in the position where you are in now, mm -hmm. young, maybe don't really know where to go, where to start work, this is a great, great chance. You, best, mm -hmm. you have to be willing to leave home probably mm -hmm. and uh, to just uh, try something new. But why not? It might mm. open other doors. And mm. I think it's quite cool. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think that's pretty much. Mm. And I don't know how much they get, but as you said before, it's not a lot of money. You yeah. have to have money. Save up. You know, yeah. if you have parents that can help, they can help you. But yeah. if you're doing it on your own, I would say save up some money that yeah. can get you by. Because Germany, as you said also, mm. it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. It's quite expensive. Now my baby is going to explain to you the... BF. D. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty much this program is quite similar, a little bit similar, but mm -hmm. little changes there. Okay, so you have to be 27 and above, so it does not matter. I'm 28, I could also do it. If I was in South Africa, I'll probably do it, you mm -hmm. know, so there's no age limit. And I had a lady from Instagram, she told me she has some social services mm -hmm. experience, she would want to do something like this. Mm -hmm. So I think my lady, this program is for you so all right so with bfd the pocket money is also a little bit more 600 euro um but also if you're not apply for this program please find accommodation and i think you can tell us more about this because mm -hmm. this is your country it's more fitting mm -hmm. for you to tell the people because yeah. you know this you know it's actually also like the fsj We are mentioning it now together, like mm -hmm. um, you get the pocket money, you are completely insured, health insured, unemployment insurance and some other pension insurance while you work here. This mm -hmm. is all covered, which is quite cool. And also, um, I think I should tell you where it actually comes from now, the BFD, because it sounds similar, just a different age group. So. So only like that you have an idea, why do we have this now for mm -hmm. older people? The FSJ has always been there and we had like mandatory military service in Germany. And for the guys mm. or ladies who said, no, I don't want to do with weapons. I don't want this. I cannot do it. They had to do like um, voluntary, uh, voluntary work. civil service work. So many people in Germany were in those jobs. But then many years ago, we stopped this mandatory military service. So mm -hmm. now... We have like a professional army and nobody is forced to go there anymore. Mm. And that's why, but then suddenly from one moment to the other, there were many job vacancies, like for like driving ambulance car and all those things where mm -hmm. those uh, people worked in, they were suddenly not there anymore. And that's mm. why the German government opened up this other program now, which is from 27 to open end, mm -hmm. for people from all the countries to come here and do also the voluntary service. Mm. And as she said, yes, you only get pocket money, but you are completely insured. Usually you also oh, get a yes. room. And it's also quite cool and nice um, and maybe it just also fits to you, right? It's, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Like as we say, if you do this, this is like a stepping stone to mm -hmm. something you never ex uh, experienced in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, you come to Germany, you're medical mm -hmm. insured, and in Germany, it's a must to have medical insurance. In South mm -hmm. Africa, the we are medical. There are many people who live without mm -hmm. medical insurance, but here. There's no way you can mm -hmm. stay here without so, which I love. They promote this, like, mm -hmm. what the hell? Yeah. What more can you want? <laughs> yeah, and also, I tell you, it's also maybe a good thought. I mean, instead of maybe some people now saw our, our other video and think about, okay, I already have a qualification. I want to come here. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, but you have to speak German quite fluently. 
that if you learn it in your home country mm. takes a while that might take half a year year mm -hmm. so also you can just say okay i just learn a little bit i have basic knowledge come here do a social year like one of those two programs we mm -hmm. just explained but then after one year you speak german fluently and like then me. <laughs> you can yeah like you and then you can do one of those those other jobs because we have so many jobs vacancies it's here it's a lot it's it's crazy guys they you. are looking for people mm. and i see also on youtube many for, foreign internationals mm. are coming here from mm. kenya south africa zimbabwe ghana canada <laughs> canada also <laughs> Russia, yes. yes many people are doing this mm. and why not so if you see yourself mm. fitting to this requirement mm. to this organization you love people you love mm. helping your free time and you want to explore one year six months mm -hmm. i think you should really look up for fsj or bfd mm -hmm. and new life can start you yeah know? And just be willing to integrate be open to just to learn something new and you are welcome just do to it come. just mm. do it I mean, you're at home doing nothing. If you're not doing anything... <laughs> <laughs> you are home and not doing anything. If you yeah. are home and doing Maybe anything... Maybe you only want to change. I think we cut this out also. Last time she wanted to cut out something from me. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't skin out. Don't skin out. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Any more insights? No, I think with those two voluntary programs, we are done. Mm. Yeah, so. we're going to keep it make it short and sweet, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And oh, everything, more information on the description box yeah, i put good sites many other agencies you'll see on yeah. the box it's supposed so to be an on. eye opener for you that mm -hmm. you know what exists and where what's you happening can in go germany and, many mm -hmm. people don't know like i've mm -hmm. a neighbor from south africa she's like mm -hmm. oh wow she wants to do this she's like mm -hmm. 23 she wants to do this voluntary mm -hmm. work i'm like yes Why go not? for it mm -hmm. i sent her so thumbs up thumbs up okay now i'm doing like a german person now. <laughs> <laughs> so we say thumbs up or crossing mm -hmm. fingers in mm -hmm. germany we say we press them we press them so mm -hmm. you never know mm -hmm. and the other one the famous one the last and that is au pair yes au pair work is quite popular in germany mm -hmm. and in other european countries let's say mm -hmm. in south africa i think honestly we do it within our own communities you know mm -hmm. you can hire somebody or old older lady from next door or somebody and they can look after your kid mm -hmm. but in europe i see many europeans or non-europeans like um, asians africans come here to do this opera work that's quite interesting mm -hmm. and also boys do it sure i was like in my language school i had a guy from georgia mm -hmm. uh, European country, they also guys do it. It's quite interesting, mm -hmm. you know. So people from America, Canada, Russia, many, mm -hmm. many countries come here to do opera work. And I think also if you are between 18 to 27, you can come and do this. So with opera work, there's so many requirements that you may need. Okay, but the most important thing, you have to be 18 to 27. Mm -hmm. But... Don't worry if you cannot speak the language. The host family are willing to pay for you because also you are doing a service to them. You are taking mm -hmm. care of their kids. Mm -hmm. They can, it depends also, it depends with families, you know, so you can get a certain amount, mm -hmm. but other host families do pay for your language course. Mm -hmm. uh, anything you want to add up also? Yeah, you get the minimum, minimum money for sure. Usually um, the au pairs stay also in the house of oh, the yes. families because you live together then with the kids you take care of. So you mm -hmm. live there, you have a separate room usually. And I know many people who have done this. It's usually also when the parents both work, mm -hmm. and but they want to have the child at home, don't give it maybe away outside from home or to a boarding school, things like this. So they take advantage of this opportunity of um, having an au pair at home. Mm -hmm. And that's a quite nice thing. It's nice for the kids. And also it's nice for the au pair to have the opportunity to come here to mm -hmm. Germany, learn the language, uh, learn different things. As I said before, other people do like a exchange year in school to learn about a different culture. And au pair is like more after the school. Mm -hmm. And then you also learn about different Germany. countries, in this case about Germany. Germany. And I think that's a great opportunity also. I totally and, agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... There are many agencies, and I'll just give you one tip. Um, there's um, a website called Au Pair World. Mm -hmm. Just look it up. 
you can find you can put your profile you can mm -hmm. find host families and it's easy just put your details and then you can be here mm -hmm. you know they'll, you have interviews and you match with your family also it depends on what families you would want like yeah. with a child who's an infant or four-year-olds it depends so yeah. there's so many possibilities and yeah i think it's good it's nice <laughs> at the end again you speak fluent german you have another language and another door might open again and as we said before like how we how did we start all those videos <laughs> we need people, people. here in germany mm -hmm. and uh, maybe you come from a country where the job market is more difficult mm -hmm. and then this is also a nice step to just learn the language and to start all over start something new i totally agree 100 yeah. mm -hmm. percent and Maybe you and I one day, we might need an au pair, but we don't know yeah, which yeah, country, yeah. which country. <laughs> <laughs> one day, and uh, that would be awesome. And mm. then we might think about you. Yes. That would be awesome. You never know. Mm -hmm. But guys, as I said, this is like a tip of so many information that's out there. Mm -hmm. But we just want to shed some light to mm -hmm. people in South Africa. Ah, and also there's one more, <laughs> one tip for South Africans or Namibia also. There's also... Um, Au pair agency called Culture Care. Mm -hmm. Look it up. There, there's a good agency, and I know one girl from YouTube and many other people from YouTube. They went through this agency. You might love it. You might try it out. Mm -hmm. So Culture Care. I'll put this on on the screen. Mm -hmm. somewhere. This is about it. And as I said, I love helping people, and it makes me happy with the mm -hmm. volunteer work that people who put their lives out mm -hmm. to help. Disabled people, mm -hmm. child care, animals. And if you see yourself, as I said earlier, you fit to this. Germany or other European countries are good for you. And why not? Why I not? also think so. So what do you have to bring? Motivation and be willing to integrate. <laughs> what do you get? Great new opportunities, language new skills and new doors open. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's about it. We keep yeah. it short and sweet. And yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank and thank you, my baby. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and mega love. Bye-bye. Cheers.